What's up everybody? Welcome back to the second part of the Kentucky bluegrass renovation and now we're going to start getting into some mowing and so I wanted to make an introduction to the California Trimmer 7 blade 20 inch uh, classic reel mower. Now this model does have the front roller on it. It has the Honda 120 GX engine and there's a lot of things I like about this mower. Um, that I think is really good for a homeowner that's looking to get into real mowing and a lot of it has to do with functionality that has a lot of components of a commercial piece of equipment and then a lot of the functionality has a lot to do kind of in the way of the homeowner in mind like uh, the lever action for actually propelling the mower. It has a rear drum on the back that's rubber that helps if you've got some sort of hill or anything on your terrain it helps you get up those hills a little bit better. It also has a seven blade reel on it, which is really nice if you're mowing really, really low. This mower will go down to three eighths of an inch and cut all the way up to about one and seven eighths, so just under two inches. And of course it comes with the Honda. You can get a Briggs and Stratton. My model has the Honda com commercial 120GX motor on it. And it's all chain driven. The only belt drive on this machine is the actual um, uh, propel, the self propel drive in, in itself. So, um, so far I've been impressed with the cut quality. My experience with real mowers isn't really all that extensive, so this is kind of a learning process for me, and I'll kind of take you through that process as well. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get a mow in. All right, so it's just afternoon, um, and uh, hopefully you can see some stripes. My, the way the sun hits my lawn, it's really hard to see any sort of striping. I really tried my best to do some double fats, um, and I know I'm going to take a beating in the comment section probably over my ability to mow straight <laughs> with this mower. It's the third time I've used it, and it's kind of a learning curve when you're learning to cut straight, when you're used to cutting with a rotary for so long, and you switch over to reel. That's kind of the biggest learning curve I found is just mowing straight with it. But overall, I mean, it's getting better. I Each time I use this mower, I get a little bit better. So here's a couple of the, I guess I would call them like homeowner friendly features, is that you've got a variable speed knob right here. It controls how fast or slow that uh, the mower moves when you want it to propel. And then whenever you want to move forward, you just drop that lever. And what it does is it drops this roller down. There's a rubber roller on the back of the mower and that allows you to propel forward. What's nice about that, that rubber roller is that I have concrete on both sides of my, of my lawn. I have a driveway on each side, so I don't necessarily have to concern myself with dragging a big metal drum roller over um, the concrete in those areas. Another thing I really like about this mower is the ability to change the height of cut. It's really simple. Uh, you move the dial from essentially its highest setting, which starts at number one, all the way down to number eight. I'm using it on a six setting, which is actually five eighths, the way I have it set with that front roller. And so I'm cutting it just a touch over a half an inch right now. Since this grass is so young and I'm trying to encourage a little bit of spread by cutting it short, I'm probably going to continue to cut in a half an inch throughout the rest of the year. 
So overall, like I said, I'm pretty happy with this unit. I'm pretty happy with the way it cuts. I think it cuts really good with that seven blade reel on it. Um, you know, eventually I will have to go in and, and uh, back lap that since I'm only using it to cut my front yard, probably not as much. Um, but for my initial impression, overall I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna continue to mow with this thing, practice with it a little bit more, and then kind of bring you guys along on that journey. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy the content. If you like it, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.